Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. Welcome back to how to build a blog in Elementor. In our first lesson, we'll go over the basics of WordPress and get to know the structure of a blog. This knowledge is essential for any blogger since we'll encounter these elements repeatedly in the future. And having a strong understanding of this process will help us work efficiently and avoid common mistakes. But what exactly is a blog anyway? Well, a blog is a type of website that is similar to a diary or journal. It organizes content in the form of categories and tags and presents them in reverse chronological order, which means that it shows you the latest entry first. People use blogs to share their opinions and thoughts, but a blog can also be used to strengthen your brand across the web. With the right content and SEO best practices, a professional blog can be a powerful marketing tool and generally at minimal cost. WordPress is a content management system that was created in 2003 by bloggers to create, maintain, and market, well, blogs. It allows you to organize your content into pages and articles, manage your media, and so much more. WordPress is the world's most popular blogging platform, and with good reason. It caters to anyone who wants to create content, whether you're a novice creator or a skillful developer creating the perfect environment for both solo projects and team collaborations. Now that we understand how we can use a blog to our advantage and what WordPress is, let's take a look at how it's structured so we can work effectively. Every WordPress website starts with a theme. A theme contains a set of pre-made layouts that affect how your website looks and feels. You can think of a theme as a mold, similar to a cookie cutter. The WordPress theme repository offers hundreds of unique and interesting themes, with each of them allowing for varied styling and customization options. Elementor is compatible with most modern themes, and some work better than others. But as you'll see in the next few lessons, we're not going to rely on our theme for our site design. Every blog has posts and pages, and the difference between them can be subtle. But understanding this difference is vital to the management of your blog. Let's start with a blog's bread and butter. It's posts. A post is an article on your website written much like print media, such as newspapers or magazines, and is usually presented on your site in reverse chronological order. Posts are particularly helpful because you can use them to increase engagement by allowing visitors to comment on them, an option that is not available on regular pages. Many visitors will find and enter your website by clicking a post link via search engines and social media rather than through the homepage. Unlike posts, WordPress pages are static pages on your site that don't change very often. These can be used to set up a website's structural pages, such as the homepage, about me, contact information, and more. Every post we create is assigned a specific category, with the default category called uncategorized. We can create new categories and rename them. Categories are hierarchical, and you can create subcategories. For example, if you have a blog about food, you can create a category for every type of meal with subcategories for types of food like pasta, meat, and chicken. And we can add any category to our menu to facilitate easy navigation for our visitors. You can also add tags to posts, which help showcase related posts together. Unlike categories, which are meant to group posts in a broad subject, Tags are meant to describe specific keywords or details within your posts. Going back to our food blog analogy, we can have categories for every type of recipe, with subcategories used for the type of ingredient. And we can use tags for specific topics in our recipes, like using the tag vegan for every plant-based recipe, or nut-free for people who have a nut allergy and are looking for safe recipes to follow. For every one of these groupings, like a category or tag, WordPress uses an archive. An archive is different from a page or post as it displays the content dynamically, which means every new post is automatically pulled in and sorted by date from last to first. This is especially helpful since there's no need to edit this page directly. Now that we understand the basics of a WordPress blog and website, it's time to start working on our blog. In the next lesson, we'll learn to navigate the WordPress dashboard and configure the settings that will be the first building blocks of our site. So be sure to keep watching. See you there.